improving security and lowering transactions costs for foreign investment, even for domestic investment, will be necessary. And Nigeria is part of a group of countries negotiating an agreement on investment facilitation at the WTO. Once this agreement is negotiated, ratified, and is being implemented, it could be instrumental in attracting additional trade-oriented investment. To complement investment facilitation, Nigeria has to cut down on trade costs. Infrastructural costs, linkage costs, regulatory costs, customs costs, basically all costs associated with moving goods from the factory or farm gate to the final consumer. Nigeria's trade costs are too high. According to the World Bank SCAP trade, trade Cost Database for 2019, trade costs for African countries are on average the equivalent of a 304% tariff. And for Nigeria, it's even slightly higher at 306%. These numbers are one and a half times higher than trade costs in high income countries. Such high costs are not conducive to forming regional value chains. Congestion, capacity con constraints, and high costs in our ports make life difficult for anyone seeking to base supply chain operations in Nigeria and hence expand trade from there. On the policy side, implementing the WTO Trade Facilitation Agreement will help Nigeria and other African countries harmonize customs and transit procedures, reducing logistics and other trade costs, and dramatically increase the potential income gains resulting from the African continental free trade area. The WTO's Trade Facilitation Agreement Facility has already worked with 44 African countries on their implementation efforts and stands ready to support Nigeria upon request. Nigerian businesses need to upgrade product quality to gain market share. With better quality will come better reputation and branding and opportunities to capture more value from the products they make. In this regard, I must cite the micro, small and medium-sized enterprises in the food, textile and fashion businesses. The quality of their products has improved considerably over time thanks to the support of the uh, Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment and the Nigerian Exports Promotion Council. Women are now making export quality bags, briefcases, spices and condiments for household use. We should work on scaling up these products for export. Africa loves Nigerian fashion and the rest of the world loves our leather carpets, our bags and other products. But we have yet to make the necessary moves to capture these markets. Again, the potential exists to do so much more. 